Hello and welcome to the October Lunar Mansion Magic Guide. I'm Nathan, also known as Postmogalism, and in this video I'll be presenting all of the talisman-worthy Lunar Mansion elections for the next month, along with a description of how the astrology of October will affect the qualities of each election. Like last month, October doesn't have the greatest astrology for electional talismans, but unlike last month, there are at least a few decent elections in each time zone. This month's guide features elections for prosperity, abundance, growth, healing, protecting crops, favor from authority, binding of tongues, victory, and destruction. So stay tuned for those details in just a moment. But first, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and trying out my channel. If you enjoy this content, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. This month, I'm streamlining the format of this video and the notes that I take while researching elections to get some time back to produce other content. I think it will be easier for everyone if I just produce more videos about lunar mansions and other topics and then reference them here in the guide series rather than explaining the same mansions over and over again every month. So with that in mind, please let me know what you think about the shorter guide down in the comments. And remember to subscribe so that my future videos show up in your feed. The first election of the month is for prosperity in the 24th lunar mansion Al Saad Al Sud on the 4th of October. The Picatrix says talismans made in Al Saad Al Sud are for the increase of herds, which is to say for increasing resources. The next day on the 5th, the moon enters the 25th lunar mansion Al Saad Al Akbiya, where we have an opportunity to make a talisman to protect our crops. This can be taken metaphorically, of course, in terms of guarding resources in general but I think it's best suited to literally growing things, gardening, etc. And Saturday, October 8th, she makes her way to the 28th lunar mansion, the culmination of the lunar cycle, Albat and Malhut, whose talismans are good for gathering fish, which is grimoire speak for abundance. October 13th, we take a sharp turn into the much more positive fifth lunar mansion, Al Haka, containing the head of the constellation Orion and the power to grant favor from authorities. Then on the 17th of October, the moon enters the 10th lunar mansion, al Jaba, which produces talismans that aid in the curing of illnesses and the raising of spirits. The 30th of the month contains two elections for different lunar mansions. First, in the 22nd lunar mansion, al Saad al Dabe, for binding people from saying bad things about you. And the 23rd lunar mansion, al Saad al Bula, a mansion of separation and destruction. Now I'm going to review each of these elections in order and provide a little more context about how they can be put to use magically. Feel free, of course, to skip ahead to the elections that you're most interested in using the links in the table of contents in the description below the video. Al Saad Al Sud, the name of the 24th Lunar Mansion, translates to the luckiest of the lucky, which is fitting because of this mansion's overwhelmingly positive qualities. The Picatrix says that its talismans are for the increase of herds, which can be taken literally, of course, but also simply just means to increase resources. It is also said to increase merchandise and profits, so this mansion can be rightly assumed to be useful for prosperity-related magic, among other things, like preventing an official from fulfilling your duties and causing goodwill between man and wife. The mansion's image is a woman nursing. Its spirit is Bethmael, and EST, CET, and AET time zones have one election each on the 4th of October. The positive aspects between the benefic planets like Venus, the Sun, and Jupiter serve to boost the already beneficial nature of this mansion. The waxing moon brings out even more of this positive, successful vibe, which will benefit any talismans that you create. The 25th lunar mansion, Al Saad Al Akbiya, the lucky star of hidden things, is a neutral mansion, meaning neither entirely benefic or entirely malefic, and therefore morphs its qualities and powers according to the phases of the moon. In October, the waxing moon activates this mansion's positive attributes, namely protecting crops and orchards, strengthening buildings, and ensuring the delivery of important messages by protecting the messenger. The moon's trine with Mars suggests the protective aspects of any talisman made during this election will be enhanced, and while the testy and scattered nature of Mars and Gemini tends to be quick to anger, Mars will be in shadow and slowing down at the time before going retrograde on the 30th, which will diminish the combustibility somewhat. This mansion's image is a man planting trees. Its spirit is Aziel, and EST time zone has one election in this mansion on the 5th of October, 
under a waxing moon. The culmination of the lunar cycle, the 28th lunar mansion, al Batun al hud or the belly of the fish, is a day of abundance and prosperity. Its talismans are said to be good for gathering fish for you to catch, which can be taken literally as indicated in the Picatrix in Book 4, Chapter 9, but it is suitable for any prosperity working, really. Though this would be a benefic mansion regardless, October features a waxing moon in this mansion, something which we sadly did not get to see while Jupiter was in Pisces. Jupiter isn't in its domicile in Aries, of course, but the wildfire energy of Jupiter in Aries, conjunct to the moon and the midheaven during this election, is sure to bring quick and expansive growth wherever it's applied. The mansion's image is simple, a fish, and its spirit is amnexial. Sadly, only AET time zone gets an election in this mansion in October, late at night on the 10th. This month, only PST time zone gets a chance to create a talisman, well, two chances actually, on the 13th, in the wee hours of the morning as the moon trines Mercury on the midheaven, and then a few hours later when she trines Venus and Saturn on the ascendant. In the first election, the trine to Mercury is reinforced by Mercury's rulership of the moon's current sign, Gemini, which would have a similar effect to, say, a conjunction with Mercury, where the moon takes on a somewhat mercurial nature. Luck, good communication, and intelligence would serve the wearer of a talisman made under these conditions to win the favors of the authorities in their life. In the second election, trines to Venus and Saturn echo the essential energy of this mansion, which brings favor from authority. Plus, there is harmonious resonance with the ruler of the domicile of the moon, Mercury, which is in Libra and ruled by Venus. Soft skills set the tone for success with the wear of a talisman made under these conditions. The 10th lunar mansion, al the brow of the lion, hosts the royal fixed star Regulus and patterns itself after the nature of the storied watcher of the north. Regulus is famously associated with curing infirmities and easing childbirth. And this mansion reflects those same qualities, with the Picatrix suggesting that a talisman made in this mansion transmits healing properties to any water which it's washed in. The spirit of the mansion is Ardesio, and its image is the head of a lion. The moon is trying Jupiter in Aries when it conjuncts the ascendant near the end of Cancer on the 17th of October, late at night in CET time zone. Al Saad al Dabi, the 22nd lunar mansion, known as the lucky one of the slaughterers has big mercurial vibes. The image of this mansion is a clear reference to Hermes, a man with winged feet wearing a helmet, and its magical qualities are curing illnesses, putting discord between people, causing escape, creating goodwill and good communication between allies, and binding tongues so that people will not say bad things about you. All very mercurial in nature. This is strange because the mansion is in Capricorn, but then again, it is the lucky one of the slaughterers referring to the ancient Arabic practice of making sacrifices at the heliacal rise of the sea goat Capricorn. The spirit of this mansion is Galiel. CET and AET have one opportunity each to make a talisman in the 22nd lunar mansion on Sunday, October 30th. CET has the moon on the ascendant trying the north node, and AET has the same with a bonus sextile to the sun. The waning moon will bring out the negative aspects of this mansion, discord, escape, and the binding of tongues, but then negative is a matter of perspective. This would be a great opportunity to protect yourself from backstabbing and shit-talking, should you have the need. The final mansion of the month is al Saad al Bula, the 23rd lunar mansion, which is decidedly malefic. It is associated with driving people away and causing destruction, and its image is a cat with the head of a dog, which just sounds unsustainably chaotic. The waning moon is still trying the mighty north node when she conjuncts the midheaven mid-afternoon on the 31st of October in the AET time zone. I suppose Halloween is a fittingly spooky time for some malefic mischief, but beware those hungry ghosts. That's all of the Lunar Mansion elections in October. Thanks for watching this month's Lunar Mansion Magic Guide, and as always, the presentation is linked in the description below this video, and at the back of that presentation is a resources section with links to my notes on this month's elections, my guides to Lunar Mansion magic, and other helpful resources if you're new to the Lunar Mansion system. If you enjoyed this video, please click like, and then also subscribe to my channel. And check out all of my content on my new website, www.postmogalism.com, where you can subscribe to get all of my new content delivered to your inbox automatically. Good luck with all of your magical endeavors this month, and again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.